वेलकम टू मोमेदरम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल चेक ए गिवन नंबर इज लक्की नंबर आर नॉट इन जावा ए लक्की नंबर इज ए नंबर हुज सम ऑफ स्क्वायर्स ऑफ एवरी इवन पोजिनेटेड डिजिट इज मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन एग्जाम्पल वन सिक्स टू थ्री इन दिस सिक्स इज द इवेंट पोजिशन and 3 is also the event position so 6 square plus 3 square is equals to 36 plus 9 is equals to 45 so 45 is multiple of 9 hence we can say this number is lucky number and 15 sec event digit is 5 5 square is equals to 25 and it, this 25 is not multiple of 9 so this number is not a lucky number so to check a given number is lucky number or not in Java, we will follow the below steps. First, we will reverse that number, oh, example 16232 Why we are reversing here means in Java, for strings or arrays or any collection objects, we can able to get the position of elements directly, but for numbers, we cannot get the positions directly. For numbers in Java, we cannot able to traverse from forward to backward, but we can able to traverse from backward to forward. So that is the reason, first we will reverse that number. After that, we will get even positions and we will square them even positions and we will add it to the results. So after that, we will check the result is multiple of 9 or not. Let us implement this one. We have created a class lucky number. In that we have created a static method is lucky number. Uh, this method should take the argument as uh, the number and it should return whether the given number is lucky number or not according to the our definition of lucky number. Now we will create three variables position uh, position is equals to 1 event position digit is equals to 0 and the sum of event position digit square is equals to 0 position this position variable is used to uh, identify a odd position or even position and even position digit is used to get the even position digit value and uh, this is sum of even position digit uh, square is used to store the square of that uh, even position digit as per our steps first we will reverse the given number we already have a reverse number function so this function will take the input as number and it will give the reverse of that number so i will i'm going to use the same method here reverse of a number dot reverse a number of so this method will give the reverse of the given number reverse of the given number now we will create a while loop to traverse this number while number not equal to zero then we will go inside the loop now let us check this position position percentage position percentage 2 equals to equals to 0 if position is even it will go inside the if condition but in our first iteration position is 1 so it will not go inside let us take an example 1 6 2 3 so in the line number na, line number 9 it will give result as 3 2 6 1 so first iteration for the first iteration our position is 1 so it will not go inside in this number we don't want to bother about first position like uh, we don't want to bother about odd positions so we'll remove this uh, last position n divided by is equals to 10 so here the n will be 3 to 6 and we will increment this position now the n is 3 to 6 so it will go inside the loop and the position is 2 so position modulus 2 is equal to equals to 0 so now it will go inside the now it will go inside the if condition now we will see even position digit is equals to number percentage 10 
so this statement will give the last uh, digit of a number the last digit of a number is position is even so here it will give 6 and we need uh, square of this number sum of square of this number is equals to even digit number into even digit number so it will give 6 uh, 6 is the event position digit 6 into 6 36 it will be stored in the sum of event position number uh, after that it will come out from the if condition then again it will be removed the last character so now this will be 3 2 will be there and position value will be incremented to 3 so n value is 32 so it is not equal to 0 so again it will go inside inside the while loop but here position is a uh, position value is 3 so position modulus 2 is equals to equals to 0 if this condition is fails so it will come out and again it will do it will uh, remove the uh, last character so now the so now the n value will be 3 and the position value will you will and the position value will be incremented to 4 and the n is not equals to 0 so that is 3 it will go into the condition position value is 4 4 percentage 2 is uh, is equals to equals to 0 so it will go inside the if condition and uh, it will give the last digit is 3 event position is 3 into 3 it will give 9 in the earlier iteration the sum of event position digit square value is 36 already there so we have to add uh, this uh, current result into the existing result after that it will remove the 3 also now the n value will be 0 and the position is 5 of, and again it will check the condition n value is equal to 0 the condition is failed so it will come out from the loop in the last step we will check the result is multiple with 9 or not uh, now return sum of even position square percentage 9 equals to equals to 0 so this statement will check uh, if uh, the result is uh, a multiple of 9 then it will give return result as true otherwise it will give result as false let us check this method is giving a uh, correct result or not int n is equals to 1623 and we'll call this method is lucky number of e is lucky number of n so let us run this one and see is 1623 is lucky number so it is giving uh, true uh, so according to us 66 six uh, 36 plus uh, last uh, even digit is next even digit is 3339 uh, 6, 36 plus 9 is 45 so it is multiple of 9 let us give another example 15 and let us run this one 15 is a lucky number no it is not a lucky number now let us give some other number and see 1 3 2 5 some number I have given randomly and let us see so it is also not a lucky number 3 3 is are uh, 9 so it should be like 3 3 is are uh, 9 plus uh, 5 5 is are 25 25 plus uh, 9 is 34 so it is also not a multiple of 9 let us uh, check some other number which is multiple of 9 uh, we, we will give like uh, 9 only we will give 9 only 3 3 is are 9 plus 9 9 is are 81 81 plus 9 90 81 plus 9 is 90 10 nines are 90 so this is a lucky number yes true by using this method we can able to check whether the given number is lucky number or not hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching